was to go and hold a tent meeting off at this college town. And, well, uh, we got there about dinner time on Saturday. And there's different ones of us that thought that maybe we ought to get a mouthful to eat before we set up the tent. Well, we followed this little bunch of people there through this little path in these woods and come up on this sign that says, get something to eat here. And I said, well, I believe we will have a hot dog and a big orange drink. I went up and got it, and do you know that before that I could take every mouthful of that food, this whole raft of people come up around me, up like, and I dropped my big orange. I did, friends. And you know, they commenced to move, and there weren't so much that I could do but move with them. And we was going down that path through, this, through the woods there, and pretty soon come up on this young boy that says, tickets please. And I says, friend, I don't have a ticket. I don't even know where it says I'm a going. <laughs> he said, well, come out as quick as you can. I says, I'll do her. I'll do her the very first chance to get. Well, friends, we kept on the moving through there. And pretty soon I seen where it was we was a going. Because, because this raft of people, they parted. And I could see pretty good. It was these two banks of people a sitting a looking at one another across this pretty little green cow pasture. <laughs> and friends, somebody had took and drawn white lines all over it and drove posters in it and I don't know what all and I looked down there and I seen this bunch of young girls dancing around these short skirts and all and I decided I'd sit down and see what was going to happen. <laughs> friends, about the time that I got set down to it, I looked there and there's four or five convicts running up and down, <laughs> waving their arms and blowing whistles. And then I seen 30 or 40 men come running out of one end of this great big outhouse they had down there. And the bank full of people where I was a sitting got up and hollered. And then I seen 30 or 40 men come running out the other end of that house and the other bank full, they got up and hollered. And friends, them men them bunches of men that come out of that outhouse, they got, they got up in a circle real close together. They did, friends, and they voted. <laughs> they voted and elected one man apiece, and they come out there in the middle of that cow pasture, and two convicts come up there, and they come as the odd man right then. <laughs> Pretty soon I seen what it was they was an odd man before. It was that both bunches full of them men wanted to get this pumpkin, a funny looking pumpkin. And by God, friends, they kicked it the whole evening and it never busted. <laughs> it didn't. And friends, I seen that evening the awfulest fight that I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> them men would run one another and stomp on one another and grind their heels on one another and I don't know what all, and just as fast as one of them would get hurt, they would tote him off and run another down. <laughs> <laughs> and friends, that went on just as long as I sat there. But pretty soon this young boy, what had said, tickets please, come up on me and says, friend, you're going to have to leave Cause tis you don't have a ticket. And I says, well, all right. And I got up and left. Now, friends, I don't know to this day what twas they was doing down there. But I have studied about it. I think it is some kind of a contest to see which bunch full of them men can get that pumpkin and run from one end of that cow pasture to the other without either getting knocked down or stepping in something. <laughs> <laughs> what it was was football. <laughs>